Hi guys, it's Simon from Tech My Life Video, and I wanted to talk a little bit about iOS 8, which obviously came out um, two days before or a day before. It's always confusing with, um, I think it was a day before in Australia, but two days before in America. Because basically we get the iPhones before everybody else. Um, but software, digital releases, um, we get them at the same time, obviously. Um, so iOS 8, uh, let's talk about it. Um, it has some issues. Uh, there is no doubt about that. There are plenty of bugs in there. Um, some of them are going to be with your apps, um, and some of them are going to be with um, the operating system itself. Uh, and it's, look, it's a big change. It's a big upgrade. You would expect that. You would expect some of the apps to take a little bit of time to get on board. Um, uh, it may run slower on some older devices. Uh, my kids both have it running on a 4S's, and... They've said it's a little bit slower, but nothing really much to worry about. Um, and kids, kids are generally impatient, so if they're not really worried about it, then I say it's not really too much of an issue. Um, in terms of the cool things that are coming to iOS 8, or at least the things that I've um, enjoyed the addition of on my 5S, keyboards. So you can have your own keyboards. Um, uh, a lot of people are happy about that. I'm just happy that Apple have introduced the predictive text pretty cool, speeds up typing. Um, I've had some issues with RSI in the past, which means tapping lots of buttons lots and lots of times can actually aggravate that. So for me to be able to tap and actually tap words and actually just tap a letter and then tap a word, speeds up the typing um, and that's actually a really good thing. Um, the predictive text seems to work pretty well, hasn't really learnt yet the way I speak, but supposedly it does. It uses, it learns the kind of words you use. Um, uh, yeah. The camera, there's been some additions to the camera. They've even come uh, to my phone in terms of uh, using time-lapse. Um, you can now do time-lapse videos. Um, you can also do time delay shots. So I think it's three and 10 seconds where you press the button and then it, it, it waits and then takes the photograph. Um, another big one for me is family sharing, which has been really cool because basically um, my kids have been uh, using my exes um, iTunes account. So basically they were all on the same same account and what that meant is she couldn't use iMessage and obviously neither could they. Um, my son has a SIM card, my daughter doesn't yet um, just because she doesn't really need it just yet. Um, um, and what happened was um, I could talk to my son whenever I want because he had a SIM card so he could text me uh, but my daughter I didn't use kind of the chat programs that she kind of uses with her friends. Um, and so we couldn't really chat, but with family sharing, they've been able to start their own Apple accounts and link them to my ex's account. So when they purchase stuff, it can go to her and she can approve it. Um, but what it means is that when my daughter's on a Wi-Fi network, she can now uh, text me. So I get all these um, very loving and cute text messages coming from my daughter, um, which is really sweet. And it's a, it's a great way to be able to communicate. Um, so I think that's, that's kind of cool. Um, because obviously in the past, if they had their own Apple accounts, they wouldn't have been able to share purchases between uh, my two kids and also my ex if they if they wanted to buy a game or something like that. So this this the ability to share is is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think family sharing is actually probably the best feature in iOS 8 and the best move Apple has made in a long time um, for families. To be honest, um, so look. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff there, a lot of other subtle changes, some visual changes, some improvements, um, there's widgets and all sorts of things. But I really just wanted to highlight some of those things which are um, really my favorite things um, that you're gonna notice uh, more readily. You use the keyboard a lot, um, you use the camera a lot, I'm sure, and um, I think the family sharing is something that um, all families out there need to know about and look about, so share that one. Um, Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Of course, please comment below. Maybe let us know what your favorite features are. Um, are there hidden features that you know about that you think other people should know about? Um, maybe I can talk about those in a future video. There are a lot of hidden, subtle features in there. Um, please look me up on Facebook, uh, Tech My Life Video on Facebook, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm Simon from Tech My Life Video.